Hello friends, it's Sherry from Tur Turquoise Dreaming. How are you doing tonight? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my channel. So I, usually, I have been coming by on a Friday night to share my thrifting adventures from the week. And so I've had, uh, I've got, gone to a couple places this week, but uh, I was inspired by Gina at Gina Loves to Craft to visit uh, Tuesday morning this week. <laughs> I don't let myself go very much because I always end up finding a bunch of fun goodies there. You know, if you go to Tuesday morning, you know how it is. But, uh, so I went, I usually go, I try to go only once a month or even every six weeks because this is what happens. <laughs> so anyway, and I usually find paper and I did, but I did find some, uh, these die cuts. I wanted to just open them on camera because they look really cool. Uh, they're by Bo Bunny and it has 58 pieces in here. So if you don't mind, let's just investigate together and see what these are like because they look so pretty and I just really wanted to kind of, you know, have some fun with these. So let's see what's all in here. 58 pieces it says. There is a lot in here, I'll tell you that, that keeps coming here. There's a big heart here, and, oh, look at this. A really nice, large something there, and little pieces. Wow, that was, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, so this is like, uh, kind of card stocky, so you can see this is beautiful. And we'll just go through it kind of quick here, so... You can get an idea, but it's the bow bunny called Noteworthy. If you go to Tuesday morning and want to look for it, Noteworthy. Let me just show you. It was $2.99. Hopefully you can see that. Here's what the back looks like. 58 pieces. So, and so like here's just, we'll just look, go through the pieces real quick. I'll just flip them by the camera so you can see. But all different types of cutouts. Uh, let me pull out the larger pieces first here because I... I was, uh, you know, these will be fun, but I was really interested in all these little pieces. Here's a strip that'll be that could be nice for a trim, or you can even cut these up and possibly use them for little tuck spots, you know, on the top of a page. Wouldn't that be cute? Or, you know, so many uses, of course, for those. This is a beautiful little um, item here. <laughs> I guess this is upright because the heart's upright there. So looks like a little cage to me or a vase. Here's like a, uh, I guess it's a bird cage. Here's a little hanger right here. And here's another big piece here, another bird cage. Aren't these pretty? See, I couldn't really see what was in there because everything was, you know, all together. So you don't really know what you're getting until you open it up. Here's a pretty flower cutout. This is what I was really interested in, things like this. Here's another little bird cage. Those are so pretty. Can't wait to use them. Some little, these look like, kind of like tags. There's a, two holes right here. This one too is like that. Here's another one. Let's see, any more of those? I think that's it for those. Here's some like banners. Here's a banner. Here is a banner, green. Here, here's another one. That one. Here's a different, you know, size with a kind of cutout on both ends. Here's a banner, best day ever. Let's see. Looks like a ban oh, this little tiny banner here. And there's some more of those little tiny. Let me let me put this down so you can see uh, better. Little tiny patterns here on these little ones. These are cute. Wow, these are neat. So these are like cardstock also. Everything's like cardstock. Some more. <laughs> Aren't those cute? Pretty patterns, you know, pretty colors. Here's some more of the banners. And here's some, whoops, dropped that one. Heart, it says, you are amazing. Yeah, let's see. A bunch of little hearts. Heart, heart. Oh, here's some circles. With, oh, with a flower on it. Isn't that pretty? There's another flower. Heart that says, you are kind. These would be great for Happy Mail, too. You are wonderful. 
And then there's some with just the colors, the little ones. Whoops. Circle, some more flower circles. Let me put this down. Here's something pretty. You are my world. You are my world. So looks like almost like a little doily. Okay, let's see what we have left here. Oh, here's a really big piece, but this can be cut apart too if uh, I want to. I do that with my Tim Holtz too, just if it's, if it's too big, I can just cut it apart. You can cut it there, you can cut it here, you can cut it here, you know, just whatever you want to do to make it smaller if you if it's too big for you. Uh, here's another one of these that looks like a doily, kind of. Oh, isn't that pretty? Great to make little Valentines out of some of these hearts and things. Uh, here's another heart. You are special. Another heart. And then we have some more flowers. All these pretty flowers. This is what I really saw. The flowers and the butterflies. <laughs> I was like, oh, cool. That looks like fun. For $2.99, you can't beat all this. You know? And I don't have to cut it out. I don't have to fussy cut it. <laughs> Unless I want to make it smaller. Now here's the butterflies. Aren't these pretty colors? Here's another one. And just a bunch. Oh, here's another heart. And another butterfly. Different sizes here of butterflies, but all a good size. So really pretty colors. Really neat. And they're kind of different. And then here's some lighter ones with the white, green, and black. Those are pretty too. And a heart. Okay, so that was neat. Glad I got it. That'll be fun to use. Okay, so the rest is kind of papery stuff. And I have my scissors here so I can, if I need to get this, cut this uh, off of here, I can. But I want to show you you know, I flip through the corner in the store and pick these out so I could see, you know, how you do when you're looking at scrapbook paper. And this has another little piece right here. Let me see if I can get it past with my scissors. Okay. Well. <laughs> I, they usually, I usually see them on the side, not on the bottom, so that's a little different. This is a uh, paper right here that's called Lost and Found Breeze. And it, let me just cut that off. It is, I'm trying to see who makes it. Um, hmm, hmm. I don't see the maker, but it's called Lost and Found Breeze here. And it's a very uh, thick feeling pack. So it's probably cardstock. Yeah, cardstock paper, 48 sheets. And this one is not double sided. But I just saw, let's see, a lot of pretty colors. And kind of overall backgrounds here. You know what I mean? Here's a pretty train. Oh, there's a little bit of uh, glitter in this one, too. This one has some postage uh, type graphics right here. And this is kind of a grid. Um, and it has brown. Oh, and there's some lace up here. Right across the top here. So really pretty. And just really pretty kind of uh, colors. Not too bright. That's pretty. It almost looks like velvet. Like, uh, you know. Here's some, some, some line with a little bird down here. Got some blues on that. This looks like a ruler. This is pretty green. Brown po polka dots on tan. Now this is really pretty with a little bit of glitter on this. You can see that in the camera right there. Really pretty. There's a butterfly down here, and it says correspondence, and it has a little bit of like script in the background here on that one. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Hopefully these colors are showing up in the ca camera. This is like a houndstooth pattern. 
a newspaper kind of look or a, no a book I'm sorry I guess that's more of a book page background with the pretty designs and glittery on there too so that's going to be so pretty here this is neat this is uh, got the lines and kind of like a almost like a sales receipt it's uh, actually talking about birds and there's a bird right here so that could be cut out if I want to and this is really pretty an overall kind of a diamond plaid with uh, the overall glitter on this one I don't know if that's going to show up in the camera but I'm just going to move it around a little bit so maybe it'll maybe you'll be able to see it very pretty I love that I love those colors so you can see why I got this one. Oh, look at this. Wow, this is really beautiful. <laughs> I don't have any other glittery scrapbook paper, so this is really going to be nice and fun to, to work with. So that was one, one paper pad. And then I got another paper pad here. This is called City Maps. This is by DCWV. Uh, 12, I guess this is, it says 12 sheets with glitter, gold glitter. So I was in a glittery mood apparently this day. <laughs> but this one doesn't have a seal on the bottom, but it does have some seals on the sides here. Let me open these up. I just thought I'd come by real quick and share this with you. I did some other thrifting this week at, let's see, I went to Goodwill. I went to Salvation Army, so I think I got something at both of those places, so I'll, I'll share those in a different video because, you know, I don't want my videos to be too long for you. I know I like to white, watch quick videos if possible, you know, I do watch long ones, some long ones too if I, if I can, can, but usually I end up watching them in, you know, segments here and there and then finishing them as I have time. But uh, we'll try to get this through this one pretty quick. But uh, let's see. Okay, so you can see the glitter. Let's see how glittery it is. <laughs> but this one, oh, this one's double sided. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to get a double sided. And this one has, uh, like I said, I think it's called City Maps, right? Yeah, city maps, and but it, you know, you can see it's got a map on one side like this one, map on one side and green on the other. And here's just colored, different colored maps. Here's a pretty one on this side, kind of a neutral. With uh, let's see what this looks like. Just I'll just show you. It's really pretty pinkish colors oh look at this wow this is really different <laughs> I was really having trouble making up my mind because they had so many pretty ones <clears throat> this is ledger on this side with a map on this side and this one oh this one's really pretty with the pinks and blues almost a reddish color and then it's got the glittery on the back wow that's gonna be so different to work with these two paper pads because I don't have any other anything else like this so you can see that it's got words London uh, Singapore different countries on this side and then a different pretty map on this side so mapish neutral colored map on this side and then cut up cut aparts over here and they're all glittery isn't that pretty very neat bon voyage Love to travel. This one's got a peachy colored on this side and then the pretty map over here. So you can see there's two uh, of each design. This is a glittery here. Map. Kind of a grid here. Isn't that neat? It looks like graph paper, but it's like brown, peach, and blue over here. And then pretty map map with a dark background here some ledger looking with oh isn't that pretty a purple map so neat <laughs> and 
here's a dark colored map here with orange on the back. And this is a neutral color, but it does have a pattern on it. And then, hmm, neat. You can leave this as a, you know, hole, or you could cut these out if you wanted to. Or I can. <laughs> Here's some more that look like little squares that you I could cut out to make into tags or journaling cards. And it's neutral on the back and got some postal related uh, pattern there. Purple with pinks and browns, like a street map here. Neat. And this is a light blue with hearts with glitter and their little map hearts. Oh, those are so cute. I'll make sure you can see that. Isn't that neat? Little maps in each in each heart. Oh, those are so cute. Wow. That's gonna be fun. Fun fun. <laughs> so let me see, where am I putting things? Under here. Okay. So the other two, three, four things I got were kind of like kits. Uh, this one's called Sticker Accents. I've never bought a Sticker Accents pack before, so let's see what's in here. Uh, this was only, yeah, this was only $3.99, so I was like, for $3.99, I want to see what this is all about, you know, Sticker Accents. Of course, they're stickers, <laughs> but uh, also it says Grandma and... Um, it's all about kind of I got a recipe cookbook vibe from this so you can see I thought this would be neat to use in a cookbook journal or recipe type you know journal so different all different kind of baking and cooking related things plus there's some sewing related things on here and a little teapot and just some really pretty little stickers on there and then let's see what else you get these are cut apart so these aren't stickers with the music pattern on the back so those will be neat I'm glad they're not all stickers huh interesting because it says sticker pack I have to look at that again pretty floral on this side this does say Echo Park Paper Company on the bottom if that helps anyone and here's a pretty pattern here so there's two of those oh look at this one looks like a sweater with it, see here's this is cooking and sewing related pattern here. Very pretty. So two of those. And then more cut aparts. Uh, this side has squares. There's a big one here. Well, that's just to show you what's in here. And then more cut aparts over here. Tea time. Little pieces here that you can cut. Each one apart, or you could use that as one big tag if you wanted. And just all the typewriter and different gardening. Here's a gardening theme. So I thought those were just really pretty colors. And okay, so this has sticker accents on it. It looks like it's by Echo Park. And it has grandma. It says grandma right up here. So, and you can see the colors. I'm just uh, letting you know in case someone wants to go and get one of these or look the, for these at your Tuesday morning. So the other three are Halloween related. Let's see. I think I got all. I couldn't believe they had three different Halloween related kits. But I'm really. I've never made seasonal or Halloween journals before this year. <laughs> Then I, I made the ones I'm making for uh, Studio 28E and just got me really in the Halloween uh, crafting mood. So I saw these. This is called Haunted by Karina Gardner. Another paper by Echo Park. And let's see if I can have any see any more information here. Kit contains 12, 12 by 12 double-sided papers, including cover. And yeah, that's all it says. So here is this that was on top. And then the back looks like this, like journaling cards. All Halloween type things. So, oh, this is pretty on the back. It's got the pumpkins. Isn't that pretty? 
And then here's this one, all little like shields, Halloween related and green on the back. So there's two of those. And here's another kind of bigger drilling cards and ghosts on the back, little ghosts, two of those. And then this one has pumpkins with little words like trick or treat and little witches hats and a bat that says, well, it looks like, yeah, that is a bat. Okay. And it says Halloween. So just different Halloween related things on there. And it looks like this on the back diagonal stripes and then here is words halloweeny words <laughs> and two, oh that's pretty on the back so really colorful and then this is like ads isn't this neat it looks like advertisements little business cards over here <laughs> those are super cute and it looks like this on the back as well it's dark with bats on here and you know different size bats are so really cute two of those so that is that one. Oh, and here's some stickers i'm just going to have all kinds of fun making halloween journals this year but yeah these are pretty little ghosts and a witch little pumpkins and here's some little these can be used on edging or, you know, cut them up and put them on tags like washi tape. So really pretty little spiders and all kinds of neat stuff here. Okay, so that's that first Halloween one. So I've got two more Halloween packages here. You can see I went a little crazy, but like I said, I don't go very much. So that this is why I don't go very much. <laughs> But uh, this one is called Haunted, and please excuse all the crinkly if you don't like it. It'll be over quick. <laughs> but this one, it just all looked, I just loved all the colors and, you know, the fun Halloween. Haunted by Karina Gardner, again, Echo Park, Paper Company, and a it's similar, but different. So I'll just flip through this one so you can see, get an idea what it looks like. And the other one was called, uh, oh, this was haunted too. Okay, so I've got two of these. Yeah, this is the same one. Okay, so we won't look at that one. Sorry, I thought I got three different ones, but that's the same. Haunted and haunted. Okay, so this one's different. This one is spooky. All right. Well, that'll make the video shorter, right? <laughs> Let's open up this one. I was like, this looks really familiar. <laughs> okay. So this one is a little different as far as we've got the orange and black here. And this is called, let me see. It was called Spooky. And same type of thing with the 12, 12, 12 by 12. And so like, here's the front page. And I'll just flip over and that's journaling cards on that side. So you can cut those apart. Two of those. And this one has like the stripes on the back. Here's a page just covered with spiders. Isn't that neat? <laughs> now they don't look real, so that's pretty cool. They kind of look like a little cute, like cutie spiders, so. That doesn't bother me. If it, they looked real, I wouldn't like them. <laughs> and here's orange with brown spots. So that's really pretty and Halloween-y. And then we've got, oh, these are cute with the colors and little squares. You can either use it as a whole, you know, page or cut these apart. And it's got this pretty diamond pattern on the back. Pattern on the back. I like the colors in this one with the orange and kind of... Uh, brown i don't know if that's supposed to be black but it kind of looks more browny black than black and then that's the same one and here's a pretty one with let's see let's get this apart very pretty with the different colors on that one the orange and the brownish black here's another pretty one 
And I guess those are little skeletons. <laughs> and then here's the back of that one. Yeah, there's skeletons on this side too. So that's this skeleton page. And then here is uh, spiders. It says scary. We've got pumpkins, little bats, and just the orange and, you know, overall Halloween color. And this is very pretty on the back with another different diamond pattern. And that's it. So that's all I got. It's not too bad, right? So if you're looking for Halloween, I went early. That's one reason I went ahead and went because, uh, you know, I thought if they did, I didn't know if they had Halloween kits, and I figured if they did have any Halloween type paper, I better get it before it's gone. So, <laughs> if you want it, go and get it before it's gone, because uh, you know how things are at Tuesday morning. They don't carry uh, everything all the time. They just have what they have, and then it's gone. So, anyway, I'll let you go. Hope you enjoyed seeing my goodies, and I've got some more thrifting stuff from thrift stores and Goodwill and stuff that I'm going to do a separate video on. So see y'all next time and happy crafting and happy thrifting.